So dear okay, friends, okay. dear friends, okay, here I am to welcome all of you. This Thank you. is a small seminar group and the focus is on science, religion and the philosophy as the basis. I have sent you two small books. Uh, those two books are already in uh, the Google Classroom. I hope you are able to download those books. The second book is really simple. The second book is really simple. The first one is from the Oxford University. It is actually an introduction, but you just have a look at it. Now, after this talk by this evening, I will be uploading two more simple books, two more simple books. One book is by me and Another one book is by some of the students. So have a look at these books also. So they could be the reference material for you. The two books which I am sent, I have already uploaded on your Google material and the other two books which I'll be sending this evening. This could be the reference material. Now my request is think of a topic. You know, there are so many topics connected with science and religion. So many, like for example, evolution, conflict model, Darwin, Einstein, stem cell research, technology and ethics, Big Bang and creation. So there are so many topics where science and religion will be coming into picture. Darwin or Galileo, these are all examples. So my first suggestion, I told you also, please download at least two or three books from this uh, free website. You know, the website is libgen.is. Download two or three books from that libgen.is. Uh, if you have problem with downloading, because uh, you are using only smartphone, then I can download a three, four books for you. So my first suggestion is focus on two books that you like, two books. Write a summary of it, then write a review of it, and write a few quotations of it. That is only to make sure that you have thoroughly read the book. Summary, review, you know, the normal way of introduction, criticism and everything. And then two pages of a book review. Okay, now you are 10 of you. If you read two books like this, there will be 20 books that are being read. Please make sure that each one gets a new book. Don't read books which, are, which others have read. So after having read 20 books, summarized it, then you choose any topic which you like. I am going to make life simpler for you. Ordinarily, what is expected is when you write your seminar paper, you have to write about 20 pages, 30 pages. That would mean about 7,000 words. Now, in your case, because of this uh, special circumstances, write only 3,500 words just 3,500 words on a topic uh, which is related to science and religion. So at the end of it, uh, you, you know, you have attended the lectures of Father Jobs Cosmology, uh, Father, this, uh, Father Stephen Jair's Philosophy of Science, even in my philosophical anthropology notes, you take the bigger notes, the bigger notes, the last section is actually on a ladron uh, collider uh, that is connected with science and religion. So in philosophy of, uh, in philosophical anthropology also, there are quite many things. Therefore, what I want you to do is uh, write 3,500 words, it could be a little more, that's not a problem. Write 3,500 words on a topic that you choose. Any number of topics there are. You can use website, internet sources, but they should be all 
uh, good, neatly acknowledged. The basic idea is when you write a paper, it is a research paper, paper. It is an academic paper. Therefore, all that you say must be proved. And how do you prove it? By getting the help of other authors. So you cannot just say something out of the blue. You are saying it because you rely on some other authors who are reliable. Like you can quote from one book or another book. You can quote from internet. But remember, please, when you quote from internet, there are very, very bad internet sites. There are the fake internet sites. Yesterday, I asked you for philosophical anthropology to write three essays. These are just essays. They are not very scientific. I have asked you to start with an introduction, section one, two, three, four, conclusion. And I have asked you to at least use uh, three, four small books. This is this seminar paper that you are writing is a little more serious because you know you are going to get, I believe, uh, uh, three or six. We have to finalize the credits for that. So, first thing I want you to do is choose two books, read them thoroughly. And then, the second thing I want you to do is uh, make a summary overview of that book third thing i want you to do is uh, please choose a topic use those three books for the, your uh, primary source those two books that you have downloaded would be for your primary source but after having gone into the primary source dear friends you have to uh, rely on a little bit here and there maybe you can use more books from the same Lipton. Or you can also use uh, other internet sources. If you finalize uh, the topic and let me know, maybe I can also suggest to you some books. Uh, is it clear? Joseph, George, are you following me? Hello, unmute yourself and say, are you following me? Okay, Angami, everything is clear? Okay, if that is the case, I'm not getting any response. If that is the it's case, yes, thank it's you. It's father. Father. Thank you Angami. So, if that is the case, I am actually now taking you to the BPH seminar classroom. And I want you to write down the names of the books that you have chosen. The idea is that if everyone will be able to see that book, see that you don't take the same book which others have taken. So let me take you to the class, uh, the, the, the classroom, okay? So this is uh, the BPH. BPH seminar. Uh, here you are the 10 of you. Okay. Akhil, Alan, Ando, Ashlyn, it's arranged in the alphabetical order. Jacob, Joseph, Marcus, Angami. Angami, uh, the other name is very difficult for me. Uh, Prakash, Raja. So now I am going to create a page for you. I am going to create a document an assignment, which is procedure for seminar. And here I am creating a page, a document. So this document will give you the instructions. First, choose two books 
below this. So you will be able to choose the two books. Write your name. Book one. Book two. So So, for example, if it is Alan, you yourself can write this name, okay? And then write the name of the book. The idea is, uh, uh, before writing, you make sure that others have not chosen that book. So, I am giving uh, Okay. I wanted to write your own name one two three so ten of you are there and write your name book number one book number two then what you do is sir uh, you write a book review of these two books and the book review would consist of introduction summary main highlights or your personal criticism, conclusion, and then more important is at least 20 quotations from the book with page number. This is something that I will that you will be sharing with your companions. So in that sense, these quotations are very, very, very important for you as well as for your companions. This you write for both the books. Both the books. Then once you do this, then you will be thorough with the topic. The next one is choice of the topic and there also you give the same 10 of you on this page itself you choose the topic write your name and choose the topic and then you uh, work on it as I try to demonstrate to you yesterday, you read a few more books, not too many books. These two books you have read, then read a few more books and internet sources, then subdivide your subdivide your paper. Like write introduction, and then in the introduction, you write some points points one two three etc then section or uh, section one or subheading subheading one subheading two like that you go on but before starting writing i was i'm telling you yesterday write some points some quotations some incidents from all these things at least you should have uh, three subheadings, but you can have more than that also. So it doesn't matter the subheading. Then my personal appreciation or critique and conclusion. Please use footnotes, also bibliography. Uh, I would suggest you don't use the 
in-text footnote that I told you yesterday for the other, for the philosophy conference, philosophical anthropology, because you know the in-text footnote is simple, but uh, in philosophy it may not be accepted. So for this, you use actually the uh, Chicago style or Turabian style, anything, but not in-text footnotes. Uh, as I said, the length is 3,500 words. Uh, I am now requesting you spend these for this holiday, sir. That means, sir, now you may not have many exams coming this September, uh, no, August 17th onwards is the exam time. So that time you spend August 17th to 23 is exam time. You can actually spend that time. Plus, you will get also plenty of time in uh, October. So, spend these two times for you to reflect, for you to uh, write something down. And then, after having formulated something, I want each one of you to have a small presentation. Like in the same, in our group, all of you will come, make a presentation of uh, what you are doing. So there is a presentation to the group. Then you will get feedback from the group and then the final paper. Uh, don't be frightened. It is not going to be very difficult for you. Now, I, uh, okay, let me check. Uh, are these sections, is it uh, more or less clear for you? Clear, yeah, Father. So now, what I will be doing is, this particular thing, I will be sharing with all of you. And if you open this, you would be able to manually enter those pages and uh, you should be able to uh, completely uh, write down for example the two books and also the themes and everything the final thing also you it's best to submit it here in this uh, seminar the final thing also so i am actually just giving you giving 20 marks for this and the due date I am giving you there for the choice of the topics and this. I am giving you the due date would be say October 26. I am giving you due due date, and uh, I am assigning you assigning to the whole class. So you must have got this already. It is actually the procedure for seminar and you click on the procedure for seminar and then you should be able to click on the document, the untitled document that is actually what is given, it is not really untitled. Let me change the instructions or procedure and you should be able to get that. Now, I can share this document but if I share it, the problem is, uh, let me see. If I share it, it may go to the other group members also. That is uh, my problem. So, students can edit the file. So that also I have given it, students can edit the file. Mm. So, first, Okay, uh, 
uh, instructions document i am saving it i hope all of you can somehow get into it uh, prakash are you there can you hear me what i am saying prakash go follow us uh, others uh, just now there are eight of you that would mean two fellows are missing but that doesn't matter you can they can actually view this this presentation uh, let me just uh, stop